China with the ongoing crisis of alleged leakage of national examinations. The Kenya National Examination Council Chief Executive Officer Dr. Joseph Kivelo says the Form 4 examinations will go on despite mounting pressure to cancel the exams. A crisis meeting was held today in Nairobi following reports of massive examination leakage. It was a crisis meeting by the Kenya National Examination Council Committee and officials of the Ministry of Education to investigate the source of leaked examination question papers complete with marking schemes currently in circulation. After the meeting, the examinations body played down reports of massive examination leakage. All the papers were successfully done despite the alleged leakages of these papers, especially this week. By Friday this week, 50 KCSE papers had been done by candidates. 24 remaining papers will be done from 26th October to 5th November 2015. A brief prepared by the Examinations Council since the onset of exams shows that 14 teachers from seven counties across the country have been arrested and charged after they were found with examination materials. One of the teachers was arrested in Changamwe after he was mentioned by private candidates as having coached them using genuine examination papers. 25 private candidates in Mombasa and Kilifi counties were caught with questions for Kiswahili Paper 1 and Paper 2 written in the exercise books and mobile phones. Next security monitoring team has also recovered 40 mobile phones from candidates and recovered exercise books with examination related materials from over 60 candidates. Kenya University Staff Union meeting under the Trade Union Congress Kenya banner warned the Kenya National Examination Council disbanded over alleged leakage of this year's KCSE. KNUT and the Limuyetu Coalition have called for the cancellation of the ongoing exam and resetting of credible exams. But NEC insists it cannot take such drastic measures claiming question papers in circulation are facts. We made a decision that uh, there is nothing that should prevent the examination from proceeding. It was consensus reached by in the meeting that we were. There is growing suspicion that NEC staff could be behind the leakages. We are not limiting ourselves to external forces. We are also looking at ourselves and we are also doing investigations in every area. Next says it will employ other strategies to identify any suspected examination irregularities after receiving the examination answer scripts, a process that could see some schools and candidates miss results. My message is to encourage them to study instead of trying to look for materials to, to steal. There are times you will lose the exam that you are prepared for for so many years just because you are cheated by someone to be involved in these small practices. Um, you will also not be able to register possibly for net examinations for sometimes for a period of three years. In the meantime, the examinations body is asking Kenyans to be vigilant and report persons involved in examination irregularities for arrest and prosecution. Patrick Amimo, KTN News.